Welcome back treasure hunters. So today I'm going to go over some more thrift store finds, including how much I paid for each item and how much profit that I could potentially make. This also includes a piece of studio pottery, which originally had a retail price of over $600. Want to see how much I paid for it? Just stay tuned. What's up treasure hunters? So today I'm gonna to go over some more thrift store finds, including a piece of studio pottery that should get me profits in the hundreds. And you'll never guess what I paid for it. So I've got a whole bunch of thrift store finds, uh, mostly found at Goodwill that I wanted to show all you guys, including obviously some artwork and some studio pottery. So the first thing I found here is a piece of studio pottery. This, I guess, would be kind of like a pocket vase or a pillow vase somewhat. It's got kind of a colorful, modern half glazed, but also has some texture and it's all painted. And here's the back just in a pink and gray kind of splash paint. And it does have down here, it's hard to see, but this, anytime you hear for studio pottery, these uh, little markings or stamps are referred to as chop marks. Sometimes studio pottery will be signed, uh, whether it's on the side or on the bottom. And sometimes artists just use chop marks. This one actually has letters, looks like KSS maybe. Um, sometimes they'll have letters in them. Um, Sometimes the chop marks will just be symbols, uh, whether it's like a flower or, you know, some other random symbol. So that's going to be a little difficult to identify. You kind of have to resort to other, other people's knowledge or just kind of do some searching, uh, describing what the chop mark looks like or looking through. There's a lot of Pinterest boards out there that are full of different chop marks and studio pottery signatures. So those can be useful. And I can post some of the boards that I found that have helped me out in the past. So I got this, this was only 319. And I don't know, I thought it was kind of unique, different looking. I haven't ID'd this yet, but I haven't posted it anywhere or done much searching on it. So I'll have to do that. But uh, for 319, I thought this was kind of a cool, unique piece of pottery. So my next thing I'm going to show you here is another piece of studio pottery. And this is just kind of a you know standard bowl, but it does have some cool glazing. It kind of looks like abstract flowers or something. And then has, you know, just a natural unglazed bottom with the glaze and this blue stripe around the, the top of the bowl. And this one also has a chat mark right here. And this is just a, looks like a three petaled flower. And I haven't posted this or identified this one yet, but this is only like two something, we'll say three bucks. And even if I don't identify who the artist is on this, it's still a really well-made bowl and it could go with a lot of different decor because uh, it's not too crazy, but you know, it's got some nice neutral colors. So even if I can't identify who the artist is, I should be able to sell this between, I would think, $25 and $40. Uh, but if the artist is somewhat more well-known or collectible, then it could be more. So not a bad piece for only a couple bucks. The next thing I found here is an antique. Uh, this is just an etching and it is hand signed at the bottom. It looks like Roloff or Rolaf. Uh, but it is German. There is a German sticker back here. And this frame does look pretty old. This is actually the description because this saying here is all in German. And so whoever owned this before put whatever that meant here. Um, just has a couple storks there. And I haven't ID'd or really looked this up yet. I I did a couple quick searches uh, and I did find some different 
artists with that name, but one of them was Canadian. So that doesn't really make sense to me, especially with the German sticker on the back. Um, the other one, I'm not really sure this, it, this is just kind of a different piece because of the words and whatever. It kind of goes over, um, you know, what it's like a house blessing almost, um, in German. So not exactly sure, but it is hand signed in pencil. This is only like $2 and on this kind of stuff, um, especially with the old German sticker on the back. And just given that it's a uh, hand signed etching for $2, I always pick pieces like this up because even if I can't identify exactly who did it, it's still older and, you know, very easy to ship. And somebody might like this out there that knows German or something. I don't know, but it's still for two bucks worth it. So the next piece here, I actually found two pieces um, out at the thrift store by the same artist. This is an intaglio print or like a hand pulled etching. And this, I actually sold one by the same artist um, a while ago. It's just a tiny little etching. And I actually sold it for like, I don't know, 60 or $80 or something. And this is obviously an owl and was done by artist Ed Gifford. And he did all kinds of different Amish art, uh, farmhouse type art, and a lot of these hand pulled etchings. This one's number 330 and is titled Hoot. This, I got this for like, I think $3. And seeing that I already sold, I mean, this Ed Gifford is pretty well known in this type of art and especially with the farmhouse stuff is, uh, stuff is sold at auctions. It's, and he was, a uh, you know, he originated in Bath, Ohio which I don't know how far it is from me, you know, up in Cleveland, but it's not too far. So I do stumble across his work every once in a while. And when I do, and it's at a good price, I always grab it. This only being like three bucks. I definitely, I think I'll price this between 50 and 75 and, you know, just take any offers that come in that are reasonable. And here's the second piece by Ed Gifford. And this one's actually, an actual painting. It's not an etching. I think this is gouache or watercolor, uh, but you can definitely see the different strokes in there. And what caught my eye immediately on the back, there's all sorts of information, including the certificate of authenticity, um, has up here, Ed and Odette Gifford, original etchings and Amish scenes has his, uh, address there from Akron. And it is signed in gold down here at the bottom. But it's a really well done, nice farmhouse scene in the circular matting. It's uh, professionally framed. And I picked this up for uh, like $4.99. So it was a really good deal. His paintings sell for more than the etchings uh, because this is an original painting. The etching was, you know, a copy of 30, um, three of 30. I should be able to list this for around 250. I've seen some of his paintings sell towards more towards 400. And then I've seen smaller ones sell for, you know, around 150 to 200. So I'll probably price this first starting at about 250. And, you know, obviously also take any offers that come in that are reasonable. So this is definitely a good find. So my next piece here is another etching, surprisingly enough. I have not ID'd this yet. I haven't posted it anywhere, but I did try to decipher down here the signature and haven't really done a good job at that. I think it says, I mean, it kind of looks like fire, but it also looks like sort of Kyer. Uh, so I'm really not exactly sure. I'm gonna have to get some help on this. It is titled uh, Grove and it's number 35 out of 250. But I just thought it was pretty cool. I like the how it's tinted kind of yellow and red. And it's just kind of a grove of trees. It almost looks like, you know, the trees back in the back are like marching forward, kind of in a crooked line or something. But I don't know. I thought it was a nice piece. And this was also $4.99. Nothing really on the back. Just a... Uh, little custom frame shop sticker, but for five bucks, 
I always pick up, you know, numbered art etchings and stuff if it's not too large and the number is not too high. So I can, you know, not pay a ton of shipping if the price is anywhere around five bucks. Here's the next piece I found. I got this for two dollars and this is a very old photograph. It looks like of four chefs. I'm not exactly sure. I don't know too much about photography and especially older photography. So I don't really know if this is considered like silver gelatin photo or if it's a different type of photo, but I thought it was pretty interesting and cool for only $2. Uh, the frame's really old. You can see on the back given like, you know, how dark the wood is and the, you know, how all the paper looks. The frame has a cool rustic look just from age. Uh, it's obviously not in perfect condition or anything. There's no glass, but even given that, I thought the photo was really cool. I did uh, find a photographer, like a vintage antique photography group. So I'll probably post this there and just see if someone can help me out with the type of photograph or, you know, the uh, approximate age it might be and kind of go from there. But people collect, you know, old, interesting photos like this. So cool, different piece, you know, you don't see all the time at the thrift stores for only two bucks. Next here I found, uh, this is a, an antique hand colored engraving done by Franz Munchen. There's a middle name in there that is German. I can't pronounce. So, uh, it is titled Menuet, and this is uh, from an original work by Nicholas Lancet or Lancret, Cray. I don't know, <laughs> but he, I did look him up and he was a, I think, um, uh, an 18th century French painter. So this piece was done after him by Franz. And it's, you know, in a older style frame here and just doing simple searches on, I didn't find, I don't think I found this exact piece, but I found a lot of similar ones, uh, like hand colored etchings or engravings or lithographs from Nicholas's work. And they were all selling in the range of, you know, 150 to $300 or something. I picked this up for. I think 719. So I uh, probably list this somewhere in the $200 range and then obviously take offers or whatever, but nothing really on the back except a little gallery sticker from, I think it said Kansas City, Missouri. So no other information, but it's in really good condition. Coloring's really well. I don't see too much discoloration except around the matting. And that's just from using you know, nowadays you'd get pieces like this uh, in acid-free matting so it wouldn't discolor the actual piece, but there's a little bit of discoloration around the edges, but as for the focal point, everything looks good. So the last piece I'm gonna show you is a piece I mentioned at the beginning, is this piece of studio pottery. It's obviously very large. It's a kind of like a charger plate and it comes with, there's a wire, around here on the base, which it's meant to be hung on the wall, but it could also be placed on a tabletop. Really well made. And this is actually, here's the marking on the back. And this is done by Stephen Hill, who is pretty well known studio potter. He has his own website. He still does work. This work is not on his website. I'm seeing that it is 18 inches in diameter. There are some other pieces on his website that are 16 and 17 inches. I don't think they're as deep as this, but they're all listed for like $600. And seeing that this one's 18 inches, I imagine that it was probably the retail price was around that price point. It's in perfect condition. And I found this piece at Goodwill. It was kind of buried under some China and I picked it up for 1069. So I definitely think I, I uh, posted this already on my Etsy store for 475, which includes free shipping. And that's a 
really good deal for anyone that wants his work, but also gives me, you know, a really nice profit. I haven't posted this to eBay yet, but I'll probably do that and just take reasonable offers for it. So really happy to find this piece. This is kind of stuff you don't see all the time, obviously at thrift stores. I was happy there was no like major damage too, because a lot of times with nice pieces like this, they'll notice like a big crack or chip or something that really takes the value down. So those are all the thrift store finds that I have for you guys today. I have a bunch more that I still want to go over uh, that I got this past week. I just need to clean them up a bit and kind of do a bit of research just to see if I can figure out who artists might be or approximate values. If this is your first time watching or if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button, like the video, click that notification bell. I really appreciate it. It helps me grow this channel out. As always, if you have questions, just please leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. As always, I appreciate you all watching. I'll be back with a video shortly. And if you get out there, get to go to the thrift stores or any sales, wish you the best of luck and hope you find something great.